How's it going guys? My name is John Satter and I'm the director of SEO over here at Hybrid SEM. Thank you for joining us for lesson two of Internet Marketing 101. Today we'll be discussing how to build a strong, solid keyword list and how to run your first keyword analysis. Bottom line guys, you have to think like a searcher. You've got to know what people are typing into those search engines when they search for specific products and services. Take a look at your own site. Think of the products and services that you sell and you offer. Take a step back from that and think, if you were looking for those specific products and services online, what would be the first thing that you typed into the search engines? Make a small list of those. Type those in individually into Google. Search for them. Search for the term. See what pops up. See what top competitors you're going to, be have, to, you're going to have to deal with in regards to you know, competing for those keyword terms. Take a look, take, take some time and search around your competitors' sites. See what they're doing. See what keywords they're using. You can, put, you can do this really quick by viewing the source code, going into the meta tag section, and you know, checking out the keywords. Go back to your site after you've done that. Go back to your site and start building a list of keyword terms that you know, specifically fit your sites and pages. You can come up with broad terms, for example, HD TVs, long tail terms, which would be something like affordable flat screen HD TVs, or you can even go product specific, which is Sony flat screen high definition television, or Sony flat screen 42 inch high def television. You can also geo target your terms, like Sony HD TVs Orange County. You know, and don't just pick one way, don't just pick one way like broad terms or just just put long tail terms or product specific terms. You want to mix and match. You want to do a little bit of broad terms, you want to do a little bit of long tail terms, and you want to do product specific terms and maybe some geo targeted terms as well. Mix and match them, guys. You know, and see what what works best for your site, you know? And you know, after you get done with a good, uh, fa solid foundation of keywords, you know, run them over by, run them over with a friend of yours or two. You can pick their brain; they can pick yours, and you guys might be able to come up with one, two, three, even four more different keyword terms that might work better than the ones you have now. And like the old saying goes, which it, you know, is pretty true: two heads are better than one. After you've come up with a solid, strong keyword list that you feel comfortable with, it's time to run your first keyword analysis. Now over here at Hybrid SEM, we use a number of keyword uh, analyzer tools, and the three that come to mind are Google AdWords, Keyword Discovery, and Word Tracker. And the good thing about these tools, guys, is that they offer a lot more information than what you would, to, that what you would get is if you just typed in, individually typed in your terms into Google. Of course, Google brings up the, your competitors, and also, you know, it's going to bring up how popular or how um, difficult it is to rank for certain terms, or how competitive it's going to be to rank for certain terms. With, uh, let's say, Word Tracker, it when you pull when you put in a term and you you know analyze that term, what comes back is how many times in a day that specific term is searched. Now, it can even go in how many times in a week or how many times in a month. And also, you don't just get that specific term back. You get that's your specific term that you typed in, and also it suggests uh, terms that might work a little bit better, um, terms that are more frequently searched in regards to that same topic or in regards to that same product. And uh, what you can do here is look over your keyword list that you have already and look at what they suggest and combine the two and mix and match and find a way to work out where you're going to uh, implement what what is searched for the most in a day with your keywords and specific products. Now, like I said, there's many other tools out there on the web and you can go and search through on Google and search in keywords or keyword analysis tools and see what pops up. Um, 
you know, there might be a different there might be a different uh, keyword analysis analyzer that works better for you and works better for your company or whatever you're using it for, um, and you might not want to use the three that I mentioned. But uh, there's also another another tool that I do recommend. Now that's keyword difficulty the, the, a keyword difficulty tool that's that you can go to seomoz.com. Uh, and it's basically you type in and it shows the difficulty that you're going to be having with ranking for that term above your competitors or with your competitors. So it kind of gives you more of a feel on understanding how everything works. Now, what have we learned here today? Or what have I shared with you? That you have to think like a searcher. You have to go to competitor sites, take a look around, see what they're doing, see if they're ranking well, see what you can get from them. And when you go to make your list, don't just think one way to present your keywords. Think broad terms, long tail terms, product specific, product specific terms, and geo-targeted terms. And also, you need to run a good keyword analysis and find a good program to run your keyword analysis so you can understand how your keyword is going to, uh, how well your keyword is going to rank above the competition. And also, you know, don't just run one. Uh, keyword analysis, uh, key, keyword analysis uh, tool. Run many. Run Google AdWords, Keyword Discovery, and Word Tracker because they're all a little different, and you can always get a few different ideas from each each one of them. Thank you, and look forward to speaking with you next week.